Hi everyone and welcome back to TLC. Right, today's song review is El Celestia's Is The Chapel by Bob Marley. The song was released in 1968. Now, this song has got very minimal lyrics. However, it is one of the most powerful spiritual songs that Bob Marley ever wrote. That's in my opinion anyway. So let's take a look at the lyrics, guys. Bob Marley starts off by singing, Hell Celestis is the chapel. He is saying, Ethiopia is the chapel. By saying, Hell Celestis is the chapel, because he is the king of Ethiopia. Originally known as Ethiopia, in Ethiopia was found the oldest human bones. Ethiopia has two significant buildings. First, the oldest church of Our Lady Zion. The church contains the Ark of the Covenant. It is located in the town of Aksum, Trigre, built in the 4th century AD. And then there is the Lalibela church, built by the king of Ethiopia, Jebre Maskil Lalibela. Ethiopia is one of the earliest nations to adopt Christianity in the first half of the 4th century and its historical roots date to the time of the Apostles. The churches themselves date from the 7th to the 13th centuries. The Father of Creation, our Lord, told our father Noah to build the ark and he obeyed. The Lord then destroyed the people upon the earth during those days for all their evil deeds. Our father Noah was born in BC and he was 480 years old when God asked him to build a ship to save all the animals and his immediate family. In the book of Genesis, it's revealed that the Lord wanted to bring a great flood about because humans had set their hearts to do evil all of the time. It even gave humans 120 years more to live before the flood came about, giving Father Noah time also to build the ark. And he obeyed and did all that the Lord commanded. The Bible verse, Genesis 6 verse 13 says, So God said to Noah, I am going to put an end to all people, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I am surely going to destroy both them and the earth. Mr. Marley then goes on to say, Power of the Trinity, Trinity, Trinity is he. Bob Marley is speaking and saying, Hell Selassie is the power of the Trinity. The word Trinity comes from tri, meaning tree, and unity, meaning one. God the Father, the Son Jesus, and the Holy Spirit in one true God, the Master, the Ogre, as he puts it. The Bible verse 1 Corinthians 8, verse 6 says, Yet, for us there is but one God, the Father, from whom all things came, and for whom we live, and there is but one Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him all things came, and through whom we live. Bob Marley tells us to build your mind on this direction, serve the living God, and live, living God, and live. Now, to me, in this part, I really feel that Bob Marley is telling us to really pay attention and serve the true God. So who is the false God? He says, serve the living God. Bible verse, Zephaniah 3 verse 17 says, the Lord your God is 
in your midst. The mighty one will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. So you then have to wonder, why did his majesty, El Selassie, publicly say that he is not the Lord? Why? I am sure you're all wondering the same thing. See, it is only the Antichrist who will be the only one who will claim to be God Almighty by himself and demand sacrifices. For the true Lord, as mentioned in the Bible says, the Son of God will bring glory to the Father's name. Bible verse, John 14 verse 13 says, And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. So the Lord does not glorify himself because you all know who the Lord is because he is inside of you. So he doesn't need to. The Bible has never mentioned the Father bringing glory to himself, meaning telling people by himself that he is God. Only the Antichrist claims to be God by himself. So then who is Bob Marley to know all of this? Well, the sun is certainly shining now, isn't it? The Bible verse, Isaiah 9 verse 8 says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Then Bob Marley sings, take your troubles to Selassie. He is the only king of kings. King of kings, king of kings is he. Bob has always said that Hell Selassie is Jesus Christ, which is what is written in the Bible. He is our Lord for no one can go to the Father but through Jesus Christ. This is what Bob Marley is telling us. Bible verse, Revelations 19 verse 16 says, And he has a name written on his robe and on his thigh, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Another Bible verse, John 14 verse 6 says, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And he is the King, Ja. Bob Marley in this song sings, Conquering Lion of Judah. The Bible describes the Conquering Lion of Judah, L-O-J, as the one who triumphs and is the only one who is able to open the seventh seal. What is the seventh seal? Well, this is the last of the seven seals, marking the prophetic judgments of God. Through by simply introducing the seventh seal, it is obvious that the most important development is to this point. Contained in the seven seals are the developments leading to the second coming of Christ, including the seven trumpets and the seven bowls of the wrath of God. Bible verse Revelations 5 verse 5 says, And one of the elders said to me, Weep no more. Behold the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has conquered, so that he can open the scroll and his seven seals. But Molly then goes on to say, triumphantly, we all must sing, all must sing, all must sing. I search and I search on book of man in the revelations look what I find but Marley is referring to the truth because there's only one truth you can find 
400 years of slavery was from 1619 to 2019, marking it 400 years to this date. Now this also links to the Bible verse, Revelations 19 verse 16. And he has a name written on his robe and on his thigh, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He finishes off the song by singing, Hell Celestius is the chapel, and the world should know, all should know, all should know. That man is the angel, our God, the King of Kings. So Hell Celestius is the chapel. He is sending us a message Bob Marley is trying to send us a message firstly by saying that Africa is the ark and the safety for us. His majesty is from Ethiopia, so he is the chapel and the world should know. He is the only angel. Bible verse Genesis 18 verse 1 says the three visitors the Lord appeared to Abraham near the great trees of Mamre while he was sitting at the entrance to his tent in the heat of the day Abraham looked up and saw three men standing nearby when he saw them he hurried from the entrance of his tent to meet them and bowed low to the ground This song is very spiritual guys. So that's the end of the song review and my reaction. Go and listen to it. So join me next, next time when I do my next review. So let me know your thoughts and your comments. Like, subscribe, share the light if you care. Until next time, take care. Bye bye, one love.